Okay, we decided to go the opposite direction of this that we're going to be underneath in a second. We're on the English Canal. The water is very brown. So there's a lot of mud up there that we, we turn up. And uh, we're trying to stop at the grocery store if they don't open till eight. And uh, I've been up since one. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful jet lag. It should be much better today though. But here we go, we are going to the Hard Castle. Hard Castle Tunnel. And I'm walking on a lot of cobbles. So it's a little bumpy. Here's the Hard Castle Tunnel. Here on the, I think we're on the Trenton Mercy. Here we're on the Macclesfield. And I remember this from teaching world history when we talked about the Industrial Revolution and the canals that were used for transport because the roads were so horrible. It's pretty awesome. That is the tunnel. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. I think this is a one boat only tunnel. <laughs> Looks quite narrow. Oh, you have to see this sign. It's like a, a metal. It's been there for a while. 60 miles that way, 30 miles that way. But it's just beautiful. Green. There we go. I want this sign quick. Now there's a boat in there. So maybe it's two boats wide once you get in there. I can't tell. Uh, okay, so this is built by Thomas Telford. It's big on the canals. It takes 40 minutes to get through. Yeah. 40 minutes to get through. And this is the tunnel keeper's cabin, at least where they used to live. Now it's just a boat facility for the hair castle. Sorry, not hard castle, hair castle tunnel. It's hard castle. <laughs> you pronounce it hard castle? Okay, it looks like hair. Oh, there goes a train from kids station or something. So the hard castle tunnel right here. It's church and this memorial. Wait, it's not hard castle. It's not hair castle. castle. Har. Har castle. castle. This little village, St. Thomas Church there. Super cute. Wait, let's back inside one. Uh, here. Okay. We're making our way back to the grocery store. Good throw. Yeah. Oh, they're really, really muddy. They're really, really muddy. all the birds. So, so, so green. It's amazing how green it is. Of course it rained most of the day yesterday, but they sound absolutely beautiful. I love how everything's brick. Nothing is brick where I live. Bricks are too expensive on top of that. I can't find anybody that tuck point any brick. Nobody has a skill anymore. Oh, look at these beautiful little places. That yeah, takes 40 minutes to get through. It's pretty long. All right, we're in Kids Grove. And uh, there's a bus. And all these little attached houses. And the traffic is quite high right now, but people are waiting to go to work. Kids are going to school. And maybe this is like the main drag, I don't know.
here's a Tesco. Yay, maybe it's got more stuff than the other place here. No gluten-free items in the in the littles that we went to, which was kind of disappointing because in Italy, the littles had tons of gluten-free items, and even in Spain. But there they did not. So we'll see. Tesco. Yes, Tesco had lots of gluten-free items. This is just a few of them. The bread was amazing. It was much better than any gluten-free bread that I've had in the past. And the hobnobs, of course, love hobnobs, and they were gluten-free. They also had a ton of pies and cakes and little other specialties that were gluten-free. It was absolutely fantastic. Hey, if you like this, please like the video, and I'd love to have you a subscriber. Thanks so much for stopping by.